Good morning. It is hot, and not just because I have every single light on because I'm shooting. No, my air conditioning is broken, in and I have lots of computers. It's a. I love Athlon processors, uh, but I understand also that their mission in life is to heat up so much that they burn my house down. I accept that, and I embrace them. But, oh man, sometimes. Anyway, I want to talk today about having relationships with objects and why I don't like box cutters. About 15 years ago, man, a little, little later than that, I was a shipper receiver and I, I had to open boxes all day. And we used to use these box cutters. And, you know, you, you get them and, the, and they've got the razor blade. And the, and the razor blade would snap maybe once every couple of weeks kind of thing. Or it gets dull. And it's designed for that. You just sort of extend the razor blade out some more. And break off the pieces that are, that are messing up. And you go. And I don't like that. I mean, that means that every every couple of weeks I'm dealing with a new piece of blade. That's, and everything, and it's all slightly different. It's not that I don't mind change. I would just rather have one thing that works well than a constantly replaceable thing that works okay. So I got a pocket knife. And that's, I mean, really what I'm talking about here is, is relationships with objects that you use. I mean, not objects like this rock, which is an object that has sentimental value, which I also have a, a relationship with. We'll maybe talk about that next month. But, like... Your pocket knife. I mean, this is a, my, my multi-tool, but it has replaced the pocket knife that I bought when I was 15, 16. And I love it very much. It is well-loved. It is well to and, and the thing is, I take care of it. I, I have to make sure that it's sharp. I have to make sure that it's clean. I have to make sure that every little piece of it works. And I do this, you know, maybe once a year or so, because I don't use it that often, maybe once once every couple of days. I'm not a shipper receiver anymore, so I don't spend a lot of time opening boxes, but cutting apples or, you know, trimming my nails or whatever, it's just useful to have. It's my pocket knife. And we have relationships with all kinds of objects. I mean, you can look around you, I mean, I think the biggest one that people have, the, the, that figures most in their lives, is their car. I mean, to you, odds are good that your car feels like a person to you. It feels like, you know, when you're inside it, because it, it responds to you and you, you respond to it. You take care of it. You spend a lot of money taking care of it. And it gets you where you need to go. It does things for you. You feed it. You give it shelter. It's a lot like a pet. Only, of course, it's totally inanimate. But we treat it like a, you know, often like a person. We refer to cars. Guys, I don't have a car. Um, but people, I guess, usually refer to cars as, like, they're girls. She, they, they gender them. Um, this, I mean, the reason why I'm talking about this is because last week I gendered my guitar. Vader, who's my very first guitar. And he is large and black and currently in desperate need of a cleaning but that is something that's going to have to happen another day maybe i'll do a video of that but i find it profoundly fascinating that we form these bonds and we we turn these objects the, the word for that is anthropomorphization we make them like like man like people and we imbue them with all these people-like qualities. And there's a sense in which we tend to think that that's weird. You know, if you meet a guy who talks through a roll of toilet paper, you think, wow, what, what's going on with that? But really, he's probably doing the same thing that you do with your car. Right? It's just in a way that doesn't really make sense to you. But I mean, it obviously makes sense to him. Because everyone does it. It's like talking to yourself or having unkind thoughts. We all do it. And I love doing it. I love thinking of my stuff. 
as a person because it reminds me that I need to care for it. It reminds me that, that the relationship I have with objects in my life is still give and take. You know, when I used to, I used to fix computers and I would, you know, people would come to me and they'd be like, I'm like, they'd be like, my computer's broken. It's got 16 viruses. And I'd say, listen, your computer is like a kid. It's only going to go where you tell it to go. But when you send your kid out, you make sure that, you know, on their own, you know, the wild unknown internets, or in this case, I guess the real world, you make sure that they're safe. So you get yourself some virus protection, you get yourself some spyware, you continue to maintain it, just like you would take care of your kid. Um, turns out there's lots of distinctions between computers and kids. Uh, I'm only aware of some of them, but I don't know. That's enough for this week. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what an object that you have a relationship with is. I mean, I've got my computers and my guitars and my pocket knife and a bunch of other useful things like the dice bag that my mom made for me when I was like 12. And I, I, it's, I guess that's both sentimental and, and functional. I don't know that there's a, there's a, a sharp divide between that. Anyway, I will see you on Friday with some Kalamazoo piano music. All right, that's all for today. Bye. Cause I'd love you even if we were being chased by a horde of zombies. I'd never leave you behind.